You survived. Which must mean, alas, that one of the Nadaig is with us no longer. You are a great warrior. You could almost be a storm warrior. What do you seek? You set a trap for us, invoking and releasing that creature. It is true. And the Nadaig is indeed one of the faces, a spirit of the oil. I was hoping that you would disappear. The swamps do not like to give back those who enter. You have seen things that no stranger to our clan has ever seen. Secrets that no one must know. But you survived. You are strong. I should not have taught you so weak. I have nothing more to give you than my excuses. And that you keep to yourself all that you have seen. You are a brave on all Manawi. And I would like to request your help. You request my help after sending me on a suicide mission? You helped us to find the camp of the Soul Lasser. And you have proven your valor fighting the Nardaig. So, yes. I am asking for your help in saving the people who are suffering in this camp. What do you intend to do exactly? Attack and destroy this camp and those who live in it to set my people free. And how am I supposed to help you? My clan is powerful, but so are these soul lasser. I need more warriors. Esseld of the Gaius Rad is in my debt, but I'm afraid she might refuse to honor it after her clan was defeated. You know how to talk to people, and you are friends with her twin sister. I would like you to go and convince her to help me. I suppose I could try at least. That would be good. It would also be good if you could fight alongside us to set these prisoners free. Meet us near the camp with the forces you managed to assemble. want to interrupt but I think our priority should be to find Cornelia I doubt our mother Cardinal is aware of the Inquisition's actions she will certainly want to put an end to it all to appease the natives whereas a frontal assault led by Deirdre and her men would only rekindle the conflict and Cornelia would certainly take umbrage at an intervention of the congregation without even informing her of the situation Maybe I'm not too close 
Protect me in this battle! Yeah. To my
things are about to get dicey.
Greetings. What can I do for you? Why build an outpost here? Well, we do have to watch over the land surrounding the city. With the bandits, the beasts, and the natives. We don't have a lot of time to rest, you know. Anything else? May the Enlightened bless you. Come 
closer. Don't hesitate. All of our products are a blessing from the Enlightenment. We don't hesitate to have a rummage around. I'm sure. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. What do you want now? What can you tell me about the Ordo Luminous? Our order is very ancient. It was founded by Saint Gregorius one of the disciples of Saint Matthias. One of those who didn't accompany him on his journey, it seems. That's true. Gregorius was chosen to be the guardian of Teleme, keeper of the souls of the believers. And we have taken up the torch. Our role is to watch over the purity of men's souls. We need to make sure that their heart wholly belongs to the light of the enlightened. Anything else? Nothing. It's all right. Remember that the enlightened is always watching you. Your Excellency, the Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency.
do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sardé, emissary of the congregation. Ah! The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? I have come to inform you of the existence of a secret camp created by the Inquisitors of the Ordo Luminous. From what we know, they abduct natives and take them there to torture them and convert them by force. And those who refuse to renounce their faith, despite their suffering, a shot in cold blood. What? Where did you hear such things? From the natives themselves, Mother Cardinal. But surely Bishop Domitius will be able to tell us more about it. This is nothing but a web of lies that those pagan natives invented to harm us, Your Eminence. There's nothing here that could... Enough, Domitius. If the natives are complaining to the congregation about the exactions of the Inquisition, it is our duty to intervene. In that case, we should act fast, Your Eminence, because one of these native clans is getting ready for an assault. They managed to find the camp and are gathering their troops. I implore you to dissuade them, Your Excellency. It is our duty to fix this situation. I wouldn't want the natives to think that we were letting them suffer without doing anything. Since you seem to know all the details of this matter, will you agree to lead my troops? You want me to lead the offensive on this bastion of the Inquisition? Yes. Of course, you would be leading a troop of guards, which I will immediately put at your disposal. Go to the barracks and show this mandate to the quartermaster. He will ensure that you are provided with the men you need. As for me, I pray the Enlightened will guide you in this terrible task. Domitius, if I find out you had anything to do with this, you will pay for it with your life. Your Eminence, I assure you that this is probably nothing but the actions of a handful of fanatics. If that is the case, then it would prove your incompetence rather than your guilt. It's blocked.
Greetings. Quartermaster Herbert. I'm in charge of these barracks. And you are? Desade, Legate of the Congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. And what can I do for you? Here. The Mother Cardinal gave me this mandate for you to supply me with some troops. Everything looks perfectly in order. May I ask you what this is about? Some members of the Order Luminous built a camp to convert the natives by force. Her Eminence wishes to put an end to what could lead to a war between Teleme and the natives. I see. Oh, it was high time someone put an end to the dangerous zealousness of these Inquisitors. I will order the men I have here to assemble in the courtyard. And do not worry. I will send you my best. I just need to explain the mission to them, and they'll be on their way. Soldiers, the Mother Cardinal is sending you to fight under the orders of His Excellency de Sade. You will have to put an end to the crimes committed by the Inquisition in a nearby fort. I expect you to obey the orders of His Excellency without question. For Teleme, for the Guard, fight with honor! Comrades, pack your bags. We're leaving at once. Fight with honor! For the coin and the enlightened! Feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. Have a nice day, sir.
We're almost at the fort. Should we wait here until nightfall? Yes, let's. Our men are ready, Your Excellency. They're awaiting your orders. Perfect. Our objective is located beyond this cliff. The Inquisitors are not expecting us. We have the element of surprise. Let's make good use of it. Understood, Your Excellency. We'll be discreet. Let's find a vantage point to get a better overview of this fort. Here it is. The Mad Inquisitor's Fort. There's no turning back. I hope that you're all ready. Most of their troops seem to be outside. As if they sense we are coming. The prisoners are most likely inside. In some basement, perhaps. And it seems as if there are some in the right wing as well. Most of the fighting will take place outside. The priests are at a disadvantage in confined spaces. We must strike quickly if we want to make good use of the element of surprise. What are your orders, Your Excellency? We are behind the camp where there are fewer guards. Getting inside will prove less troublesome from this side. We will conduct two near simultaneous assaults. The first larger group will attack from the front to cause chaos in the enemy ranks. As for me, my companions and I will get inside the building from the back and sneak into the basement. We will set as many prisoners free as we can and use the opportunity to search the building. Once you have eliminated the troops in front of the building, focus on the right wing. At your orders. Should we keep a few men here to catch any potential runners? Indeed, an excellent suggestion. Are you ready for the assault? We're ready, Your Excellency. In that case, 
Conduct the assault as soon as you're in position. Oh! 